Temperatures and wind chills continue to drop this morning, but our snow chances are on the rise. We're going to have that latest forecast coming up. Week two in the Chandler Halderson trial starts today. A preview straight ahead. Also with the first round by already locked up for Green Bay. We take a look at their matchup from yesterday in Detroit. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now this morning here on a Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for waking up with us, folks. I'm Leah Lynchide. We start with an alert day in the forecast. The temperature going in the wrong direction at this hour, and your wind chills are going to hover in the negative double digits. Chris Reese has all of the details for us. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, good morning. We're talking about wind chills as cold as 26 below zero in Watoma out there this morning. This colder air to the north is working its way south. Southern Wisconsin has been a a little bit drier or a little bit warmer. That's simply because we had a little bit of cloud cover overnight that helped work as a blanket, but that cloud cover is gone by the wayside. Now our temperatures could uh, begin to drop at this point. That being said, wind chill advisories is going to be further towards the north. This is where they had the clearer skies overnight, and so their temperatures and wind chills were able to be much colder. But it is clear skies right now, and our temperature is at 3. Winds out of the west and northwest at 5 create a wind chill at 6 degrees below zero. 9 in Janesville, negative 1 in the Dells, negative 8 in Watoma. These below zero temperatures will continue to work their way south and east as that colder air filters in from the north and west. Even after the sun comes up, we're still actually going to see these temperatures drop before they begin to go the other direction. So 9, 10 o'clock, that's likely when things will be at their coldest, and then we'll start to warm up. Doppler track showing you a couple of flurries moving out of northern Illinois at this point. This was the reason that we had that cloud cover that kept us just a little bit warmer. But beyond that, look at how quiet the upper Midwest is, and we're staying quiet as we go through these next couple of days at least. The only chance that we have a little something is going to be Wednesday. That's when we'll see a chance for perhaps a couple of flurries working their way on through. 3 o'clock this afternoon, that temperature is at 7. By the time we get you towards midnight, we're right around 6 degrees below zero. Temperatures actually begin to warm up after midnight. So with that being said, tomorrow morning when you wake up, temperatures are going to be a bit better for us. Then by 11, we are at 12, and we'll warm things up into the upper 20s by the time you get towards dinner time tomorrow. So temperatures just continue to warm up. In fact, our high of 29 likely comes after sunset tomorrow. You see that little chance of flurries trying to sneak in here on Wednesday, perhaps a little bit more cloud cover. That is something to watch. But then we begin to watch the pattern. We have a first warrant. It's still more than four days away, but we have a first warrant showing up for your Friday into Saturday. Some accumulation is possible for a potential snow event around here that would last Friday into Saturday. That being said, the onset of this is four days away. And I'm a meteorologist. I know that four days is a long time, uh, but especially when it comes to winter weather. But we're going to watch it. The signal is strong. And the signal for something uh, showing up for the weekend has really been here for the past couple uh, of weeks. So we're going to signal is strong details. with this one. The signal is strong. <laughs> the signal um, is multiple strong. storm sig uh, signals show up once we get towards ah, the second half of January. Signals. So very good. All right. That's what you call the first warn right there. Yes, it is. Chris Reese, thank you much. Uh, you can. Uh, Get the most accurate temperatures right at the fingertips with our first one weather app. Just download it today in your app store, wherever you get your apps. Searching Channel 3000 weather. Happening today here in Madison, the trial of Chandler Halderson is set to resume. Let's rewind back to Friday when prosecutors played video of Halderson speaking with investigators before being arrested for the murder of his parents. At that time, he didn't know the sheriff's office had discovered his father's torso, as well as some cutting tools. We're not going to tell you what happened. You know what happened. You were there when it happened. We're not BSing you, okay? I wasn't there when it happened. Can I? We know more I, than you think we know. I asked him. We will continue streaming the entire trial all week long on our Channel 3000 mobile app as well as on our Facebook page. And for a more in-depth look at the case, you can head to our website. We have a page dedicated specifically to this trial. One of TV's most recognizable dads has died. Comedian Bob Saget was best known for playing Danny Tanner in Full House. Saget was found dead Sunday morning in a Florida hotel room just hours after finishing a stand-up show in Jacksonville. Local authorities say... They don't suspect foul play or drug use. Bob Saget, 
was 65 years old. Continuing coverage now, after months of questions about running, Wisconsin Republican Ron Johnson officially announcing his plans to keep a seat in the Senate for a third term. Well, there are many factors. Uh, it wasn't an easy decision, but I think probably the easiest way to uh, put it is that I, I love America dearly. I, I love the American people. I love the folks in, in Wisconsin, and I think this country's in trouble. I think uh, Democrats in power in Washington have put us on a very dangerous path, and I think I'm in a position to help, help improve things. Over the past year, Senator Johnson has been a leading voice in downplaying the riots at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th, as well as downplaying the pandemic. Johnson had previously said he would not run for a third term in the Senate. Right now, there are two people uh, declared for the Senate seat on the GOP side, but for Democrats, it's a crowded field of challengers pursuing the nomination. Democrats say they like their chances. The biggest lesson from 2020 is, you know, no matter how terrible Ron Johnson might seem, no matter uh, how much he's betrayed Wisconsin voters, you can't take anything for granted. You have to work every day to make sure that every voter casts their ballot successfully, that we do everything we can to make sure the public knows the truth about Ron Johnson's self-serving political record. Uh, if we do that, I'm confident that he's not going to get the third term that he promised not to run for and then turned around and ran for anyway. We have more reaction from Democrats running for Johnson's seat at channel3000.com. All right, following two massive wins this week over Purdue and Iowa, the Badgers finding themselves holding on by a thread at the end of the game in Maryland Sunday night. After going up 21 early on in the first half, the Badgers would find themselves struggling to hold on to any lead. Junior Tyler Wall came through clutch, though, for the struggling second-half Badgers. A career-high 21 points would help Wisconsin come away with the win. The Badgers now bound to move up quite a bit in today's AP poll. The Packers, meantime, stressing the importance of each game as they eye the Super Bowl. So that meant starters played against the last-place Lions yesterday. On top of that, they returned All-Pro David Bakhtiari for the first time in a year, as well as rookie Josh Myers, who missed some games. Aaron Rodgers adding to his MVP portfolio with two touchdowns before he was pulled at halftime with a 17-13 lead. Then it was Jordan Love's turn. He had his moments, also some mistakes. The Packers losing to the Lions 37-30. We're about winning with the Green Bay Packers. We'll never just celebrate the effort. We we gotta we gotta win, and we'll never accept losing. And that's just the mindset, the mentality. And I think our team has done a great job of, in the, in you know previous losses, of bouncing back from them. And that's what I expect from our guys. Devontae Adams became the Packers' single-season receiving yards leader, taking it from his buddy Jordy Nelson. The Packers finished the regular season 13-4. We'll find out who the Packers will play in the divisional round of the playoffs after next weekend's games. Happening tonight, the College Football National Championship between Alabama and Georgia. For Alabama, this is their seventh national championship game in the last decade. It's Georgia's second, losing to Bama back in 2018. The two rivals are set to kick off in Indianapolis at 7 p.m. on ESPN. Coming up, protecting your privacy online, the free and easy way to do that. And we are getting all warmed up here at Hook and Fade in downtown Madison this morning. Coming up, we're gonna give you an inside look at what it's all about. Stay with us. At Associated Physicians, do you know how much we offer all under one roof? It's a lot. From OBGYN, peds, and internal medicine, to lab, x-ray, behavioral health, and more. Associated Physicians, 233-9746. So hot. Hi. Who are you? I'm Tomorrow. Sweaty sleepers aren't too crazy about me. Casper. It's a Casper snow mattress. A new cooling collection from Casper. debate about the Mona Lisa smile. Would it have been bigger and brighter if she'd had good dental care? Maybe if Physicians Mutual Insurance Company had been around back then, it'd be a different story. She could have gone to the dentist more, knowing she'd have help paying the bills. And those regular checkups might have found early signs of tooth decay or gum disease, costly problems that could keep anyone from smiling. Physicians Mutual offers affordable coverage that can help pay for cleanings and unexpected or expensive procedures you might need, like crowns or dentures. This 
is real dental insurance, not just a discount plan or for checkups only. There are no deductibles and there's no annual maximum. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Call or go online today for a free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Get the dental care you need to help you stay healthy. For your free information kit with all the details, call us now or go to sendinfokit.com. Meet Ron. That man is always on. And he's on it with Jardians for type 2 diabetes. His underhand sky serve, on fire. His grilling game, on point. And his A1C, Ron is on it with the once daily pill, Jardians. Jardians not only lowers A1C, it goes beyond to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease. And Jardians may help you lose some weight. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with a sulfonuria or insulin may cause low blood sugar. A one steady pill that goes beyond lowering A1C? On it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. The OBGYN team at Associated Physicians wants to remind you that it's time to redirect your attention. Back to you. We are here and we have just one focus. You. Call us at Associated Physicians, 233-9746. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. We're back with a scary story out of Green Bay from over the weekend. 34 ice fishers rescued Saturday after being stranded on this large chunk of floating ice. No one was hurt. Officials say it's important to always be aware of your conditions and have your cell phone on. Ooh, that is a scary situation. Oh my gosh. My dad ice fishes all of the time. This is my nightmare. Yeah, it, terrifying. Uh, you know, there is something though about seeing all the shanties out on the lake this time of year. I love to see is it Wisconsin, every time I drive it? by. Yeah, yeah you got to be careful, though. You it's love to be, see it. You it's do. It's got to be cold out there, Chris, though. My goodness, who's ice fishing today? It is certainly cold, that is for sure. Three is the actual air temperature, and that's three above zero. Your wind chill is at six below zero and the temperatures and wind chills are continuing to drop as we go throughout the morning. That being said, bundle up. Caution is going to be a big deal as you go throughout today. And if you're bundled up properly, you're going to be just fine. But use that caution as you head out and about. Some of us this morning, mainly north of Madison, yeah, it's a little dangerous with just how cold the wind chills are, but we'll see things improve a bit as we go through time. From there, we start to look at our chances for snow that are going to be on the increase. There's a chance to see some flurries around Wednesday. This is something that's really just now shown up on the models overnight last night. Uh, so I'll continue to watch this and if this stays a trend as we go throughout the rest of today, maybe we'll have to introduce a little chance for some light snow and flurries on Wednesday. What's been consistent over the past couple of days is the possibility of this system coming through Friday and into Saturday and this could be perhaps our next widespread chance to see some snow around here Saturday into Sunday as well. Model number two shows the same chance for some snowflakes on Wednesday night. Again, something to watch, but then it shows our Friday system. Now notice there's probably a little bit of differences in terms of the placement where exactly things begin to line up, but nonetheless, we're watching things closely towards the weekend. In fact, I want to go ahead and give you guys a first warn. Everyone's always looking towards the weekend, even Monday. I know I am. The birthday's coming up, so of course there are plans on Friday. We've got to see how the weather begins to impact those. We're going to watch everything closely. It's still four days out at this point, guys, so we'll watch that as we go throughout the week, and every day we'll let you know how things change. What a fitting birthday present there, Chris Reese. A snowstorm. You know, I once had a snowstorm literally hit the night of my birthday. It was like midnight into the morning, kind of like your perfect white Christmas, but it was my birthday. Went sledding at midnight. That was my 23rd oh, birthday. Does it get much Never better for that. Chris Reese? That was in Kentucky, too. It was a great time. Um, so, But I'll tell you, I've not had the white Christmas, but every year that I've lived here, I have had the white birthday. Who needs cake when you Second can have snow? Thing. It's exactly. my favorite thing. I like it a lot more than cake. All right, Chris Reese, <laughs> thank you very much. So we know it's winter, but if you're looking for a place to practice swinging those golf clubs right now, we're in the 608 to preview a brand new indoor spot in Madison.
Josh Breider is live downtown this morning with a look inside. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. I think we're all warmed up. We're about to see here on a Monday morning, a cold Monday morning. Took a little extra work to get the body going today, guys. We're checking out Hook and Fade in downtown Madison. We're going to talk to the creator of all of this, Ho Sung Shing. You brought this here to downtown Madison. Yeah. Right off of Hamilton Street, right across from the Tornado Room. Yeah. Great location. You know, what was your inspiration behind this? Well, I think I wanted to combine kind of the, you know, Madison's past, a little bit of speakeasy club, supper club feel with a uh, kind of future forward technology and drinks and mixology and all of that. And I think at the end of the day, really, we wanted to create a comfortable place. So you'll see plush uh, furniture, uh, you come in here, it's relaxing, you hear birds, you hear waves. So that's all part of the process. And also the best part is you don't have to get on a plane. You can go to France right here, Josh. I was going to say, what yeah. course are we at right now? I've we're, been warming up. We're on Lake Geneva, not Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, but Lake Geneva on the French side into Europe. Ready. So what's cool about this, talk about the hydraulic system here while I'm taking my first shot. Absolutely. So, so let's say you hit a shot here and it lands on an angle uh, hill. The under, under Rough. the hydraulics, the, the place will one. move to it's just to your your shots. Look Ready. at that. I can already feel it kind of adjusting yep. there a little bit. All right. So, my caddy Adam here, our concierge service, is going to give me a new club. And then this yeah. time, another feature of this is you're going to put that on the rough, or you're going to take penalty. Oh yes, we got to put it on the rough. That's right. Ready. There you go, beautiful. On the green. Look at that. That's how it's done. So there are obviously different, you can see the hydraulics lowering right now, yep. so there are different features with this. Yeah, you know, so when we look at the technology of this, uh, this platform gets as close to actually playing golf on a course. And one of the, you know, downside of other simulators is that the putting feature is really poor. In this one, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it gets about 90, 95% of the way there. It feels very, very accurate. And it feels interesting when you feel the hydraulics move around because like you're on the course, you have to kind of adjust. Absolutely, this system has, you know, over 200 patents and you know, that it kind of shows on features like this. Look at that, Get that just to weave it outside, oh, <laughs> double bogey. So, I mean, this was interesting too because you had to fly this over from across the world. That's right, um, you know, with all the supply issues and COVID, you know, we didn't want to be denied and we want to be on time. That means that we had to Layer do things one. a little differently as using swing. air shipping instead of, uh, uh, you know, regular shipping. And, you know, in terms of building this place out, you know, it only took us four and a half months but that required a lot of alignment with the landlord, the uh, contractors, and also our employees. So uh, it was a teamwork from start to finish. And, you know, we're lucky to say we got it done. You did, and it's beautiful, Ho-Sung. Thank you so much for inviting us out here this morning. We appreciate it, guys. Of course, we'll get more information up on channel3000.com as well. I've got links up there, too. Bringing a little life into downtown Madison. We love to see it, Chris and Leah. Well, how do you feel about your performance there, Josh? Um, actually, I'm impressed with my performance. I was just going up there like, don't whiff, don't whiff, don't whiff. And I think I did pretty well for a course like this. I don't know. We might have to have a little outing between the team and have a little competition. Oh I know we like to do that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, Leah's got lessons uh, for Christmas. She's got, she got some lessons from her husband. Let so, me get uh, through some lessons first. <laughs> Not very good. Right. Josh Breider, thanks a lot. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured. In Consumer Reports this morning, have you ever used a fake name when signing up for a new service online as a way to protect your privacy? It turns out that doesn't help a lot to keep companies from tracking you. But as Consumer Reports explains, an alternate uh, or fake email address is an easy and more effective way of doing just that. These days, many big tech companies are sharing details about almost everything you do on the internet. The last thing that I Googled was a USPS tracking number. That includes what you search, the websites you visit, and the people you connect with online. But how do they know who you are? One of the main ways that they do it is tying your identity together using your email address. If you want to limit that, Consumer Reports says you might want to try an alternative or fake email service. 
There are a number of these tools, and they all work a little bit differently, but basically they give you an alternative email that isn't tied to your real identity that you can plug in when you're signing up on a new website. Maybe you've seen the sign-in with Apple on some sites. It generates a random, unique email address for Apple users. Then any emails from that site can be forwarded to your regular inbox without them ever knowing your real address. The upside? You get the emails you need without being tracked. The Firefox browser offers Firefox Relay, allowing users to create up to five fake email addresses for free or get unlimited ones for 99 cents a month. And then there are a number of temporary email services that give you an email inbox that you can use, but it self-destructs after about 10 minutes. For most temporary email services, you don't even have to create an account. 10-minute mail, temp mail, minute inbox, and email on deck are popular services. So when would something like this come in handy? Maybe when you're asked for an email address to get an instant online account. And the added bonus to using any fake email address, less spam in your real inbox. For Consumer Reports, I'm Chris Stanford. You may think creating an extra Gmail or other email account will keep uh, big tech from tracking you, but Consumer Reports says if you're using the same devices, companies will easily be able to identify you. 620 now, a new study shows dogs know more than we think. And ahead in our next half hour, a call for action success story with a Madison icon. How we helped him get phone and internet service back. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Dirt Bike Racing Action returns via Arena Cross Nationals. Epic action races into the Alliant Energy Center January 28th and 29th for two nights of hard pumping throttle Action Pack Two Wheel Racing. Get tickets now at the Alliant Energy Center box office or online at arenacrossnationals.com. Two Wheel Action on Dirt. Friday and Saturday, January 28th and 29th. The must see action of 2022. Let's go racing. For over 50 years, Purina Cat Chow has been helping cats feel at home with trusted nutrition. No wonder it's the number one dry cat food in America. <laughs> Come home to Cat Chow. From Tina Fey and the creator of Saturday Night Live comes Mean Girls, the hilarious hit Broadway musical. Entertainment Weekly says Mean Girls isn't a regular musical. It's a cool musical. It's smart. It's funny. It's ferocious. It's, it's so Come see Tina Fey's Mean Girls at Overture Center, January 11th through 16th. Wait, why don't I know you? Get your tickets now at Overture.org. Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away. And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time. Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to Delicious. I knew I had to take charge of my life. I didn't recognize myself. Now with Jenny Craig, I've lost 35 pounds and 4 inches. Introducing the revolutionary Max Up, the one-stop, most effective weight loss solution. Limited time offer. Join now. Cobison Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family, too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. All right, welcome back. A new study out of Hungary says dogs can recognize different languages. Isn't that cool? The study was created after a new resident of the country wondered if their dog understood what the heck everybody else was saying. They analyzed the dog's brains, 
with MRI scanning. They used Hungarian, Spanish, and random scrambled language. The results found that different parts of the brain activated based on if they are familiar with the language or not. The same was true with nonsense versus regular speech. The study also found that the older dog was better able to distinguish between the languages. Is anyone surprised by this? Dogs are pretty smart. They are. Although I, I'm convinced that mine still don't <laughs> understand what the heck I'm talking about. I wouldn't be surprised. You got those little ankle biters. Yeah, they understand my mood though. Oh, totally. They know they know how I'm feeling and they know if, if I'm mad at them or if I'm, if I'm looking for a little loving. They do? Uh, they do. Oh, yeah. Aww. But as soon as I start talking to them, yeah. You know, I'm not a parent yet, but I will say the best part of my day is coming home and Bascom, no matter what, no matter if I have yelled at her recently or haven't given her a treat, she comes up running and is so in love with me. Makes my day. Makes my day. We don't deserve them. We don't. We don't. That's my child for now. <laughs> Chris Reese still a holding off <laughs> on the dog. No dogs yet. For maybe no a different life. I have them but... growing up. Don't get me wrong. So I do love dogs, but I don't own one at the moment. Let's talk about the bus stop forecast, though, as you get ready to head out the door. It is a cold one, folks. Uh, temperatures in the single digits, if not below zero in some spots. Wind chills are even colder. We'll see sunshine today. We're only going to warm up to about six or seven later on this afternoon. Still some snow on the ground for us as well. We could be adding to that. And the extended forecast is something we're going to be watching. Wind chills stay fairly chilly throughout the day as well. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. Stick around, folks. More news for you now this morning, right after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Habitat homes are built and bought by the hardworking families that live in them. Through affordable mortgages backed by your donations, Habitat Dane County offers a chance for these families to invest in their future and their community. Please donate or volunteer today. The Dove Beauty Bar makes my skin feel fresh. I've encouraged Serena, my best friend, to switch. Feels moisturized and clean. My friend Stephanie. Her skin was dry. I'm like, girl, you better get you some Dove. She hooked me up. With a quarter moisturizing cream, Dove cleans effectively and cares beautifully. New year, new shape. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. You deserve to do something for yourself this year. And with Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist. And find out how you can get $250 off with our new year exclusive offer. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. So here's what we won't do we won't let self doubt win again. Because together, Come on, Riley, let's go. we're working on something more real. Elbows in. With a real planet coach for real 360 support. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. Meet Ron. That man is always on. And he's on it with Jardians for type 2 diabetes. His underhand sky serve? On fire. His grilling game? On point. And his A1C? Ron is on it with the once daily pill Jardians. Jardians not only lowers A1C, it goes beyond to reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults with type 2 diabetes and known heart disease. And Jardians may help you lose some weight. Jardians may cause serious side effects, including ketoacidosis that may be fatal, dehydration that can lead to sudden worsening of kidney function, and genital yeast or urinary tract infections. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking
Talking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. And don't take it if you're on dialysis. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. A one study pill that goes beyond lowering A1C? Audit with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians. We're talking temperatures this morning that are dropping, but snow chances on the increase. We're going to have the latest in the first one forecast. Today, Madison students and teachers return to the classroom after their delay. One local nonprofit helping out to make sure it's safer. And a Madison musician calls for action after losing access to his phone and internet. How our team stepped in to help. Good Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. And I'm Chris Stanford. Hope you had a great weekend. So the cold weather today is not messing around. It's an alert day. We got some pretty dangerously cold wind chills out there this morning, Chris Reese. Yeah, we do have wind chill advisories until noon for areas to our north, especially as well. Now you work your way further towards the south. We don't have the wind chill advisories, but that does not mean that it's not cold. Yes, it is cold for all of us headed out the door. Wind chills, though, to the north around 20 to 25, if not a little bit further below zero. Meanwhile, further towards the south, we see those wind chills below zero, but not as bad as what we have seen. So the Dells, you're at negative 12 for your wind chill. Negative three for Janesville, same for our friends over in Monroe. We'll see the wind chills continue to stay fairly cold as we look farther into the afternoon, but then eventually we'll start to see those wind chills increase. Let's talk about what the wind chill is for a moment. See, our own bodies, we lose heat as you're just standing out and about through convection, but with the, or without the wind, there's this layer of heat that forms immediately around us. It acts as an insulating layer. That body heat stays close to you but when it is windy it blows that body heat away so just like in the summer that breeze really helps cool you off in the winter that breeze helps you freeze as we see even colder temperatures come on through so temperatures around 20 might feel like four if we have winds around 20 miles per hour so we're looking at a wind chill this morning but things will improve for us farther down the road. We'll start to see improvement. Three is our temperature right now with a wind chill of six below zero. Temperatures are still gonna drop and wind chills actually get a little bit worse as we go throughout today. It's nine in Janesville right now, two below zero in the Dells and Doppler track now quiet. We had some light snow pass by to the south earlier. That provided the cloud cover, which is why we're warmer now. But as we push forward, temperatures only warm up towards seven. Winds will increase a little bit this morning as well. So our wind chills stay cold into the afternoon. Overnight tonight, we drop to six below zero. This happens at midnight. Temperatures by the time you wake up tomorrow actually warm up a bit. We'll be right around zero, give or take a degree or so, and then we'll actually warm things up pretty well into the upper 20s for tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then into Wednesday, we'll see more clouds along with a chance of maybe some flurries trying to sneak their way into the picture. A bigger deal comes our direction Friday into Saturday. We still really have to watch the details on that, but I want to give you that first warn that I am watching the weekend closely along with perhaps another system next Wednesday as well. I love to talk about patterns. If you've been a watcher of News 3 now, you know me. I'm I'm a big down-the-road person. I mean, I even made that bold prediction uh, back in October. We saw how that began to play out. As we look into the rest of January and of February, I believe that for the lower 48, we're going to see some wild things that involve winter. Wild. Um, so perhaps some big storms, okay. but for multiple different parts of the country, I think winter has been tamed thus far, but that may not be the case for the rest of winter. And she's just ready to release it all. We'll huh? see. Okay. Uh, we'll put you on notice. We'll, 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 we'll keep you honest, right? Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Students in the Madison School District. They will be back in the classroom this morning. To make it safer for both students and teachers, community leaders say they want to get more high-quality masks. The Boys and Girls Club of Dane County working hard to help out here. Leaders say they need your help, though, to buy them. Club President Michael Johnson says the group has a goal of raising $210,000 to go toward masking teachers. Some of the emails that I'm getting from teachers and support staff is that they really want to have access to uh, K, uh, KN95 and N95 face masks that are certified. 
The club recently purchased 200,000 N95 masks for local teachers, school staff, and child care workers. They also plan to give out another 4,000 for any child who needs one. We have a link to donate up right now at channel3000.com. It took six months for the U.S. to report its first 4 million COVID-19 cases early on in the pandemic. The last 4 million took one week. And right now, the U.S. is averaging about 700,000 new cases a day. The former FDA commissioner believes the East Coast is now recovering from its Omicron surge peak. The Midwest, meanwhile, has yet to hit it. This morning, the Alliant Energy Center will open up its testing site for the first time in six months. Public Health Medicine in Dane County says they want to meet the community's testing needs. Our plan is to keep large-scale testing in the community for as long as there is sustained demand. The clinic will have an initial testing capacity of 500 to 750 tests every day. In a week, public health hopes to administer up to 1,000 a day. Testing is by appointment only. The site is open weekdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6.35 now. A man is in the hospital this morning after a shooting in the city. Madison police say the man was dropped off Saturday night at a hospital with a single gunshot wound. Officers didn't say where the shooting happened or if anyone is in custody. They say they're still investigating. And in Iowa County this morning, a house in Cobb is considered a total loss. It was destroyed after an early morning fire yesterday. One person and their dog were able to, able to get out of the house. Nobody was hurt. The cause also still under investigation. Well, a tragedy in New York City this morning. An apartment fire has killed at least 19 people, including nine children. The first, uh, the fire over the weekend it is uh, one of New York's deadliest in more than three decades. City firefighters say the fire began yesterday morning from a malfunctioning electric space heater. More than 30 people are still hospitalized. Some are in critical condition. More than 200 firefighters responded. My entire department mourns along with the families here today uh, and our entire city. Uh, we're all about saving lives and the loss of one life is sad for us. The commissioner said firefighters found the door to the apartment where the fire originated open and that allowed smoke to spread throughout the 120 unit building. All right, 636 now. You might recognize this man's name. If not the name, maybe his music. James Latimer is thanking our Call for Action volunteers after a fight with his phone company left him without service in silence for months. For a music man, Jim Latimer certainly doesn't mind silence. It's a lovely country out here. Quiet, nice. 31 years as a percussion professor at UW and a member of the Madison Symphony, a performance with Duke Ellington, now the director of the Capital City Band. Still, some peace and quiet is nice every now and then. There's just no way to describe it. For 58 days. The phone line was a steady hum. Jim and Mary Jo lost communication service at their home outside Oregon. Not a single ring to their phone during that time. We depended on the phone service because band members would call, members of the public would call to get verify information about the band. Their servicer, Frontier Communications, gave them the runaround that entire time. I don't want to bash the company, but I've just never run across a, a business operating like that. I didn't know that you could stay in business doing that. That's when Jim called for action. Don't give up. And just days later... Things started to happen. Uh, machinery rolled in. Workmen rolled in. Uh, supervisors came in. There were about a dozen people out there. Rows of workmen, replaced by flags now, representing a line they ran under the highway outside the house and into the driveway to make a connection. Huge earth-eating machines. There were three or four of them out there. It only took a couple of hours and... After 59, 58 days, we finally had a dial tone. Music to Jim's ears. Now a reminder, we are always looking to expand our Call for Action volunteer team. We have details on how you can get involved and help out your community over on channel3000.com. 6.38 on your Monday. Let's take a live look outside. Temperatures just creeping into the single digits this morning, but your wind chills are going to stay well below negative in the negative double digits to be exact. Chris Reese breaking it all down for us. And Mineral Point raising thousands for two firefighters taken too soon. 
how some people are getting creative with giving back. Plus, we're giving you an inside look at Madison's Hook and Fade in downtown. And of course, with that comes the food and drink. We're going to look at their signature drink coming up. Pick and Save Delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who are by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Rest of Beauty Rest Black or Black Hybrid at Steinhoffels, and you could win a two year lease to a 2022 Mercedes Benz GLA 250. Beauty Rest Black is the ultimate in luxury and comfort. Queen mattresses start at just $23.99. Plus, get a free weighted blanket and $200 in Steinhoffels cash. And with Steinhoffels special financing and free delivery, buying a Beauty Rest Black has never been easier. Relax, it's Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. Living with metastatic breast cancer means being relentless because every day matters. And having more of them is possible with Fresenio, the only one of its kind proven to help you live significantly longer when taken with fulvestrant, regardless of menopause status. Fresenio plus fulvestrant is for HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer that has progressed after hormone therapy. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, call your doctor, start an antidiarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Fresenio, tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Fresenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you are nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Every day matters, and I want more of them. Ask your doctor about every day for Zenio. At Pick and Save, you can get personalized coupons on top of weekly sales for prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. Hey Chris, I'm Logan. I'm Patrick. We're your former neighbors. neighbors. <laughs> um, happy holidays. Please plan our day. Oh my goodness. Well, good morning, Logan and Patrick. Here is how things are shaping up for us. We are going to see a pretty cold day here in Madison. Temperatures are going to be warming up to about six later on this afternoon. So yes, it is going to be a cold one out there. Wind chills below zero this morning as well. As of 640, it's three. The wind chill at six below zero as well. Temperatures continue to drop. Wind chills just to our north and west are into the teens and even mid 20s below zero. And that colder air that we're seeing farther to the north and west is going to be working its way to the southeast as we go through time. We're quiet today, but what I'm paying attention to is the setup as we start to move towards the weekend. Friday into Saturday, we have multiple different pieces of model data that are highlighting the potential to see an accumulating snow event around here. It's still a couple days away, but folks like to make plans for the weekend. So that being said, this is a first warn that I'm giving you. If you have weekend plans, pay attention to that forecast closely and get all the latest details. All right, Chris Reese with that first warn. We appreciate it, sir. So we know it's winter, but if you're looking for a place to practice swinging those golf clubs right now, we're in the 608 to preview a brand new indoor spot in Madison. Josh Breider has been checking it out all morning long, and he's uh, put the clubs away, and he is sitting down at the bar now. Hey, Josh. 
Hey guys, good morning. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? You guys know me. We were practicing our swings, but we've been talking about how there's something for everyone here, right? So you can bring out the whole clan. We're sitting here at the barn, at, or the bar rather. We've got Caroline Fuchs with us this morning. And Caroline, you know, your husband Holsung started this and you're an investor in this. You know, talk a little bit of what, make, what makes this special for you. I think one of the best things about Hook and Fade is that, you know, there is something for everybody. You don't have to be an experienced golfer or even have ever swung a club to come out and enjoy it. Um, I had never swung a club until we opened, actually. And so for people who have been thinking about golf or just want to try a new activity during the winter, it's great to come out um, and give it a try. You know, we have gloves, we have clubs, we have the whole deal, and you can just try it out and see if you like it. So yeah, you have the numerous simulators here, but then you've also got this beautiful bar and some signature drinks back here too. Yep. One of my favorite things about it is the bar space that, you know, if you don't even want to play golf, you can come and enjoy, you know, our front area, have a relaxing cocktail, um, particularly some of our signature drinks like the Hook and Fade. So we've got Kelsey behind the bar, and Kelsey, you're going to make the signature Hook and Fade. What's all in that? Yeah, so it's our brandy cocktail. It was inspired by an old-fashioned, and then we kind of change it up. We put some cinnamon, some bitters, some cherry syrup, so it gives it the perfect flavor for a winter cocktail. Fantastic. We'll let you get out. It there and you know Caroline the fact that you guys brought this here to downtown Madison right off Hamilton Street you got the tornado room I mean this is really a, a pop in place you guys are trying to bring some life back into downtown absolutely you know I grew up here I moved away for a while and came back and it's such a wonderful place to live wonderful place to have a family and there are a lot of people who want to be able to go out have new experiences and have fun um, and downtown has always been a draw and I think will continue to be a place for families and people to go out and enjoy themselves I mean, Obviously, COVID has impacted a lot of folks over the last couple of years, and starting a business right now was a little bit more of a challenge for you guys. Yeah, I think that we didn't, you know, it was kind of terrifying, but also exciting. And I think one thing we feel really strongly about is, you know, helping the, the city to continue to grow, um, open new businesses, and support the businesses that are already here. And what's cool, too, is because you do have just this great location, you are in the heart of downtown. I mean, that makes it very much more Madison in itself. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think even people coming in from surrounding areas, you know, on weekends um, and for special events, people come here to enjoy the capital, enjoy, you know, the restaurants and bars that are here in the activities. Well, Caroline, thank you so much. With that, Kelsey, thank yes. you so much. Cheers. Take the mask off here. Cheers. The hook and fade. Oh, that's great. Kelsey. Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you as well. We'll get all this up on channel3000.com if you're interested as well, guys. I've got links up there. But in the meantime, I'm going to be here drinking my hook and fade. We'll send it back to you guys. That does sound like a winter old-fashioned, Josh. I'm going to have to write down those ingredients and give it a shot sometime. Or just go visit, huh? Leah, you would love this. This oh. drink is right up your alley. I can tell you that. Okay, okay. I'm booking, in a, I'm booking a date night there. That sounds great. Josh Breiter, thank you very much. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him at in the 608 at wictv.com for a chance to be featured. The community of Mineral Point is working to give back to the fire department after two Mineral Point firefighters were killed in a crash involving a semi on Highway 151 last week. Firefighters Jim Ludlam and Captain Brian Bush had a combined 60 years of service. Gallery owner Ben Brummerhop is auctioning off now paintings to raise money for the department. Yesterday, dozens of people gathered also at the Mine Shaft Bar to fill the boot for firefighters. To make sure that whatever we can do outside of saying, I'm sorry for your loss, uh, that we do. And I hope that they feel uh, that love. Between the Fill the Boot campaign, the art raffle, and a GoFundMe set up for families, about $50,000 has been raised. The funeral for Jim Ludlam is Wednesday. Captain Brian Bush's funeral is Friday. Sending those families so much love this morning. Absolutely. 648 now, a local teacher is being recognized nationally for her eco-education program in Merrimack. Jenna McCann just earned the National Harmony Hero Award. It's an honor given to just 12 teachers in the country every year. At Merrimack Community School, she uses butterflies to show her second graders how to help balance the environment. She focuses on getting kids outside and connected to nature while they're young, teaching them you're never too small to make a difference. I certainly hope that the kids are able to take what we do here at school and internalize it. 
Love this. In addition to the national recognition, Jenna will receive a line of new sustainable products for her students to use during their eco-education lessons. Congratulations. Yeah, big, big honor there. Only 12 teachers in the entire country get that. 649 now, coming up, where you can start getting tested today in Dane County, plus all your morning's top headlines in the sprint. First, if you have a little kid turning three soon, send us a picture so we can help celebrate the big day. We'll be right back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? <laughs> Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. This new year, in just 10 minutes, you'll look incredible. This is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. It's a cream, it's a topic. It literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes on your fine lines and wrinkles and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. And I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference and you know I felt something happening but I had no idea like I have so many dark circles I have the puffiness I have the lines like it's amazing I love it <laughs> I did this to my father at home because I was skeptical yes I admit it four minutes 34 seconds the appearance of his under eye bag was completely gone we were screaming you have an event you have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself I am telling you the video videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This new year is the best time to get Plexiderm for only $14.95 and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Govan Cars is having a huge winter sale with the largest selection of vehicles under $15,995 or $249 per month. That's right, don't miss out on our winter sale with the best selection of SUVs, cars, or vans under $15,995 or $249 per month. We have one of the largest selections of vehicles in Dane County with over 500 vehicles in stock. So just come on in and ask for me, Crystal the Pistol, Govan. Go to Govan Cars East or West. You gotta go to Govan. GovanCars.com Have you heard? Tempur-Pedic sleep is better sleep. With innovative memory foam developed by NASA, Tempur-Pedic mattresses reduce motion transfer. Which means less tossing and turning so you can sleep undisturbed through the night. But which Tempur-Pedic is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Or get a free $300 gift when you purchase a new Tempur-Pedic. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer. Help us help you by getting vaccinated and wearing a mask. 6.52, time for the morning sprint. Week two of Chandler Halderson's murder trial set to start this morning. Halderson is accused of killing and dismembering his parents, Bart and Krista, in July of 2021. The prosecution is expected to continue calling witnesses and presenting evidence in the days to come. Our digital manager, uh, James Langer, sat down with Naomi Coles on For the Record yesterday to analyze the first week. You can watch that recap over on channel3000.com. Senator Ron Johnson officially announcing he will seek a third term in Congress. He is the latest incumbent Republican in the Senate to announce a re-election campaign. The race already packed with Democrats wanting to unseat him, as well as other Republicans hoping to put their name on the ballot. More reaction up on our website this morning, channel3000.com and our mobile app. Madison schools go back to class in person today, and the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County wants to make sure their staff have high-quality masks. 
The club recently purchased 200,000 N95 masks for local teachers, school staff, and child care workers. They also plan to give out another 4,000 for any child who needs one. Leaders say they have a goal of raising $210,000 to continue providing the masks. This morning, the Alliant Energy Center is opening up its testing site for the first time in six months. The clinic will have an initial testing capacity of about 500 to 750 tests every day. By next Monday, Public Health hopes to administer up to 1,000 per day. Testing is by appointment only. Right now, it's open weekdays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Madison Fire Department is showing off its newest addition this morning. The department unveiling Medic 14 in a Facebook post. The city's ninth ambulance will serve Madison Southeast Side. We're expecting to get a closer look at Medic 14 during a news conference later today. Chicago officials are starting negotiations with teachers this week. A deadlock between the two sides over COVID-19 protocols has kept more than 340,000 children out of school for the past four days now, including this morning. The city wants in-person classes, but educators want to teach virtually in light of the ongoing COVID surge. The New York City Fire Commissioner says a malfunctioning space heater sparked one of the city's deadliest fires in decades. More than 200 firefighters responded to the fire Sunday at a 19-story Bronx apartment building. Children were among the 19 victims. Dozens more were injured, many critically. An Australian judge has reversed the government's cancellation of tennis player Novak Djokovic visa. Five days ago, the Serbian tennis star was detained at the border after officials disagreed with the tournament's allocation of a medical exemption for the unvaccinated player. The government has warned that they may cancel his visa a second time. Djokovic is attempting to win a record-breaking 21st Grand Slam title in Melbourne. With the Omicron variant spreading so rapidly, the U.S. is averaging around 700,000 new COVID cases every day. That's double the previous peak one year ago. Right now, 99% of Americans live in areas at high risk for infection. Hospitalizations are up nearly 30%, straining many medical centers. Nearly 15,000 pounds of beef sticks under a recall this morning. Iowa Smokehouse original smoked beef sticks were sold at Walmart, Kroger, and other retailers in seven western states. They're made by Wisconsin-based Abbeyland Foods. The Department of Agriculture says the product contains milk, a potential allergen, but it is not declared on the label. We have wind chill advisories until noon this morning. Still going to be cold for all of us with wind chills below zero. Overall, make sure you're using caution. Bundle up properly. Wind chills will stay into the single digits to teens below zero. Further towards the north of Madison, we're in the danger territory. Some of those wind chills are about 20 to 25 below zero. But throughout today, just bundle up. Use that caution. It is going to stay colder. As we look towards the pattern ahead, there's a little chance for some flurries on Wednesday, but perhaps Perhaps a bigger deal begins to show up on Saturday. Multiple of the models really want to show that potential. Stay tuned for the weekend. All right. Thanks for joining us this morning, folks. Have a great Monday.